Oh, that dog's up in a poo. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> um, so here it is. This is allegedly a winding hole. It just looks like the canal's just a little bit wider to me, but. Morning. Morning. You join us on a slightly colder day than yesterday. Um, what is the forecast? Do we know? No, not looked. No, we don't know. Okay. No rains forecast, so that's something I suppose. That's a good start. Um, plan of attack for today is well, there isn't much of one, is there? We've got. I'll show up hopefully a, a screenshot um, or a, a screen video or something. We're we're currently at Norton Junction. Do you know which county that is? Is that Northamptonshire? Yes, I think so. Uh, Northamptonshire. And we are going to be making our way southwards down at the Grand Union towards Buckinghamshire. Uh, so sort of down near sort of Milton Keynesy type way. We're just gonna see where we get to today, really, aren't we? We don't have a we don't have anywhere in particular we need to get to today. Um, there's a flight of lots of... Okay, so we, we are pointing in the wrong direction. I was just going to say, you haven't mentioned the <laughs> fact that uh, we're, pay, we're pointing sort of yeah. north the aren't we? I can never do this correctly. So basically, behind us, um, we need to be going in that direction and then to the left, uh, which will take us down the Grand Union. We are currently pointing that away. So we need to go that way that's that's the leicester arm isn't it yeah we need to go down here until we can find a winding hole there is one we're not just blindly going to see if we can find one there is a winding hole and then we're going to turn around and then pootle back this way stop just before the bridge for water oh we're going to do it here or oh where else is that this bridge or the other bridge oh is there a water point up there no there's two water points this way <laughs> right well we'll stop for water <laughs> we'll stop for water anyway Oh, that dog's having a poo. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I'll probably, um, yeah, I'll probably not film that. Um, yeah, no, but she should come out and clean it up, shouldn't she? Uh, yeah. A, mm. um, lovely. Uh, so that's that. So the plan is just basically do the flight of locks. I hope she stands in it. That she we um, that we wandered. <laughs> That'll serve her. Well, that's not an um, excuse for that, is there? Yeah. Some crafts. I might go and tell her. Probably punch you in the face or something. Oh, that's a posh uh, pram. It's not even a pram cover, that is it? It's a pram structure. So that wouldn't get under some of the bridges we've been under, though, would it? No, I don't Ah, think that's so. why I look. You can take the top off. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's like. Can we have one of those? <laughs> it looks like some Edwardian carriage. Yes. Oh, it's got to look at the roller blinds and everything. That is lovely. I suppose it is. Little hatch thing at the back as well, so it can open the windows. Oh, yes. Yes. You wouldn't want that rolling down, would you? How's that secure? Looks like it's on wheels, so there'll be brakes, presumably, on that track. Is it not on a track like a train track? Well, no, it'll, has it not got brakes on? They'll, they'll break those wheels, won't they? The brakes on those wheels.
So we've just worked out Josh is 15.84 meters. So be a little bit tight, but I'm sure we'll manage it. Fingers crossed. Um, so here it is. This is allegedly a winding hole. It just looks like the canal is just a little bit wider to me, but I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure what the strategy here is going to be. But here comes Josh, so we're about to find out. I expect he's looking going. So where's the winding hole then? It's not like the biggest winding hole I've ever been in. <laughs> I think it's um, worse because of those rushes over there. Looking slick so far. It's actually quite windy. See the ripples on the water there, so I was able to fight with the wind as well. But nearly round now, so all good. actually you made it look very easy I, I walked I around a meal of that to be honest but I, I walked around there and I thought so where's the winding hole <laughs> <laughs> yeah not the biggest winding hole I've ever seen so this was our mooring spot from last night it didn't take long for somebody to uh, to fill that one so we don't see anything coming from that side of the canal. We are going to give a honk on the just as we get into the, the bell mouth, just bell mouth, anyway, under the bridge, just to let anything know that we're coming. And Sue's gonna whiz us to our port side <laughs> like a boat in the wind. In the wind. left-hand side for some water after the sunken boat.
paddle done at lock number three. She's chilling up there. take too long to fill with the, uh, the gate paddles up and the ground paddle. Nearly there on the levels. Josh's friend. It's like they're having a race. Five of seven now, and uh, I'm off the hook with the uh, with the paddle. But it just obviously means it's going to take a bit longer to uh, to empty the empty the lock. It's going to take a little bit longer to. Yeah, well, I'll I'll do this one if you want. Okay. My co-worker's just going down there to see what's happening at the next lock. Just check. Uh, whether there's anyone coming up and if the lock's in our favour. Yeah, this one's uh, obviously not uh, operational at the moment, so. Super close to the uh, M1 there. Then we have Canal. Rattle on by here fairly uh, frequently. Plan is to the chap that's uh, doing the um, locks with me is gonna finish up there 
lock um, close the gates and I'm going to walk down to the next one to uh, to open the gates he said it's um, we should just open now because he's, uh, he's going to fill in the lock we walk down to, uh, to fill it so hopefully when we get there nobody will have messed with it and I can just swing the gates open and the boats can go straight in that's the uh, that's the theory anyway we'll see oh look at me duck they two little babies unusual because they normally have quite a few and indeed we are ready to go so I can just get the gates open put the boats in and uh, Bob's your uncle back over the gates this time well not so long at least this boat can be getting in while I'm doing that just need to uh, drop this paddle not jumping that one so round to open the other gate this is why it's handy when there's uh, two boats going together because you got somebody to uh, stay on one side, you don't have to keep doing this uh, walk over. I'm back again. Just that one boat can be getting in while I get over. It's one for teeny weeny tiny people. <laughs> Close that is to the floor. Check in a sec. That really yeah. <laughs> not even knee height. Victorian 14 year olds. <laughs> Cherry, this one I think is what it's called. Lovely little garden, kind of nosy over. Oh, yes, real gate house, lovely little yappy dog up here. That'll uh, these Elliot. Last luck of the day now. Well, yes, actually, I think it was the last luck of the day. bottom lock of the Buckby flight. Seven locks. I think we're ready for lunch. 20 to 2. There he is. Little yappy dog. We know who's going to have something to say about that, don't we? And here we are back just in time. Nice long straight there. And another lovely canal side house there. There's the Chandlery. Ah. 
beautiful. See the uh, M1 over there, canal, and train line over there. It's all going on. It's the last block of the Bookby flight, and there's Josh coming in for uh, some diesel. This knows how much that's going to cost. But hey ho. I'm going across this way to uh, Natalia to the other side. And we might have a little look in there in a minute. There we are. Oh, I do like it here. So diesel filled up, which is good news. 46 litres of fuel. So at the assumed wisdom of one litre per hour of running, that means we've been running for 46 hours, give or take, since Lower Hayford. So it's a decent old stint, that's actually. I guess we'd do 50, so. 46. Sue's off into the shop. See if she can bankrupt us. That's my going there. Have to go and um, go and get her before she does so.